Hi there, and welcome to another video on the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the Transform and Scale Ops. I'd like you to pause the video and just build what you see here. Great, let's get started. So here I have a cube in 3D space. Let's just click here and press F so we can see the flow. If I want to move this, rotate it, or scale it, I can use the Transform Op that we have here. So if I now click and drag on position X, position Y, position Z. As you can see, the shape moves around in 3D space. I can also change the scale, which is the overall size. I can also change the rotation of the shape on the same three axes. So let's just put this back to the way it was. Let's say I want to do this now with a second cube. We're going to create something called a parent-child relation, uh, which is just pretty normal in 3D software. So I'm going to just grab all of this. I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to move it down here. You only see one cube because they both occupy the same space. So let's click Transform here and press Position X. As you can see, I now have a second cube. The screen's pretty full, so let's jump now to the Scale Ops. I'm going to click this one at the top, which is now going to affect everything underneath. So I click Scale, and I click and drag, and as you can see, everything goes together. So if I now click Transform here and I change the scale, it affects everything underneath it. But if I now click the Transform here in the Child Cube, and I change the scale, it's independent because things pass down to each other with the flow that you see there. Let's just make this one have a different color for a moment so it's a bit clearer what's going on. Okay, so I can now transform this cube independently from the other one. But I can now go to the parent, and this will follow it like this. This is a kind of hierarchy. So now I'm going to go to the scale up. Uh, as you can see, this changed it for everything underneath. We also have scale X, Y, Z, which does what it says. It scales everything on the X, Y, Z axis. This is a good idea to do instead of changing the width, height, or length with meshes, because that forces cables to recreate the mesh. Using scale means it's for free, basically. So just try and follow that practice. And for the beginners that might be a little bit confused right now with how to do two shapes separately from each other, we're just going to get the sequence up here and create a second trigger. And I'm now going to move this shape out. And as you can see, I now have these two shapes here working together, and they're independent from this one here. This is an introduction to the Transform Scale Ops. Play around with it, see what you get. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section or in the forums. Thanks for your time. Bye.